What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do another unboxing and this is going to be an important one because this is going to be my new vlogging camera. Right now I'm recording off of my phone and sometimes I used to vlog off of my GoPro. Now we're going to have a dedicated camera just to vlog on. So what I end up getting for myself is the latest Sony ZV-E10. This is a, I guess a camera made for vloggers. I think Sony released this in August last year. And they also released the Sony ZV-1. One thing I do gotta mention that this video, this video, this camera came out in August, like I just said, but because of world events, you know, um, Sony was, Sony actually stopped producing them in December of last year. So when I decided I wanted a vlogging camera, I decided in January. So I was like, oh, okay, I can go and order one. I've seen them for sale before. Um, I have the one with the kit lens. So this one is about 800, but if you buy it with the body only, it's about $700. So I'm like, whatever. So I wanted to go buy one, discontinued, not discontinued, but out of stock everywhere. Couldn't find one anywhere. So I was like, okay, I'll wait. And then, cause I'm recording this right now. It's May 20th, right? Or something like that. It's May 20th. I'm gonna have my watch on. But yeah, so back in, I would say February, I tried again. Um, They restocked. Cause I had it where every website, I had it where it would notify me when they're back in stock. And then I think Sony actually restocked them back in March or February. At like five o'clock in the morning. So I'm waking up at like eight o'clock in the morning. And it was like, oh, it's been restocked. And then I'm gonna go buy it and out of stock. Anyways, I waited so long uh, from January to April and I was this close to getting a ZV-1. Sony also released a similar camera, which is the ZV-1, which is similar to this, but it's not a, it's a point and shoot camera. This one, you can actually, you know, switch lenses and stuff like that. ZV-1 has a built-in lens that you don't, you know, interchange. I was this close to buying myself a ZV-1, but I was like, you know what? Let me wait, because the ZV-1 costs the same amount as this without a lens. So I was this, I was this close because the, C, the ZV-1s were also discontinued. Not discontinued, I keep saying that. They're, the ZV-1s were also on sold out everywhere too, but then Sony was able to put them back in stock more frequently than the ZV-10. Then I had hot stock and hot stock can alert you when you, you know, something new drops or you're trying to get something and Amazon had them. And then um, I put an order in, I finally got one on Amazon. This is this month, May. And then they were like, I won't get it till the end of June. I was like, I need this camera ASAP. So I canceled that order. Then um, Best Buy actually restocked on them, sold out while I was at work. Then they restocked on them again, sold out again. So then when I ordered on Amazon, I'm like, dang, what am I going to do? Because B&H had them sold out too. Um, I randomly went to Best Buy and they had it in stock. I ordered it and then they went right out of stock right after that. And that's how they able to get this thing. Speaking of Best Buy, you should see what box they ship this thing in. So they ship this thing just like this. And a box has probably had about another three inches in the box with no bubble wrap, no nothing. So I'm hoping my camera wasn't slipped around in the box the whole time in transport. But anyways, yeah, I got the kit version. So it comes with the 16 to, what is it, 16 to 32 millimeter lens. And it comes with a little dead cat on it too. Let's actually open this bad boy up. Another reason why I actually got this camera is because when I do it in boxes like these, one, I want a dedicated camera for that. And you know, with the sensor that's in this guy, it's actually pr pretty good for low light. And it's not the best in the world. I mean, it's still a, a budget kind of camera, but okay, here we go. So we got the camera itself. We got the lens is already on it. And it's, it's pretty small. Camera is pretty small. Comes with a, look like a, um, a lanyard to go around your neck, I believe. And then we got a, oh, a little uh, power adapter for you to charge. And we got a battery. And then the battery just used is the, let me see what, the MPFW50. I think, if this is the same battery on my, my previous camera, which I'm gonna bring up in a minute, you might wanna get more batteries. This is that same little small battery. And then this is the cord. So it's the USB A to USB C for charging. So you have that. And then they even come with a little dead cat. And this is for the microphone. Show you that a little bit later. Okay, so get this guy out of here. This is my little bootleg table I'm using for right now. I'm trying to shop for a a table I can use to unbox things on. So figuring that stuff out right now. So this is the ZV E10, very small compared to most vlogging cameras. And 
This thing is beautiful. This is my first time seeing it in person. I actually seen the ZV-1 in person, but I've never seen this thing in person. But this thing is actually pretty small. And I'm actually gonna show you my previous camera I used to use. This is my old camera that I actually gave to Shelly. Shelly gonna use the vlog on. So this is the Sony RX100 Mark III. And the reason why I got this is because it had a flip up lens. Now on the ZV-E10, it also has a flip out lens, but it flips out to the side and then you can rotate it however you want. What I need to do is get a screen protector for this thing. Like I have on this guy. Before the RX100, my first Sony camera was a Sony S, I think it's S99, S9900, something like that, I don't remember. That also had a screen that flipped out. I think the screen flipped up like this. Uh, I'm gonna see, I don't know. In my opinion, I prefer to have the screen flip up like this. But most people that vlog or make videos hate when the screen flips up this way because if you have a microphone, the microphone's in the way, if you have a flash, it's in the way, if you have a dead cat, it's in the way, you can't see yourself. But I'm used to vlogging on a iPhone where you don't really see yourself unless you're using a front camera and I'm not using the front camera. I might even use it. I mean, the screen would be close to see how if you're in frame or not, but I'm used to not having a screen, so. But this is what Shelly's gonna be vlogging on and actually we're gonna replace this with a ZV one um, when we get the chance. Just looking at the size difference, you can see the ZV-E10 is a little bit more bigger. Before this camera came out, I was actually gonna get an A6400. And then this is pretty much an A6400 minus some professional photo things. So for example, this thing does not have a, um, a viewfinder. It doesn't have a viewfinder and it doesn't have built-in flash. Also, the body is made out of plastic. Where like, like even this, this is made of metal. This feels way more durable and heavier than this guy. This thing, it, it feels cheap. It does feel cheap. This and the ZV-1, they're both made out of plastic. I mean, the $800, well, you can't really complain. When this thing is brand new, this thing is probably like almost $1,000. No viewfinder. And for some people that, you know, take photos professionally, you probably want to have a viewfinder. I don't care. I'm vlogging, so it doesn't matter. So that's fine. It does have a, a horseshoe mount up top, so you can put a uh, external microphone or the dead cat, or dead cat go, oh yeah. The little dead cat for the microphone, because it has built-in microphone. I heard it, the microphone is beautiful, actually. Or you can put uh, a screen or all types of stuff, wireless uh, uh, microphone lines and stuff. And then here's the lens. So yeah, it's a, oh, it's a 16 to 50 uh, lens. What I said, 16 to 30. I'm not a professional camera person, so I'm I'm gonna be learning how to use this thing myself while I'm using it, so it's whatever. What's cool about the ZV-E10 is that you can use all the Sony's latest E-mounts, um, um, what's it called, lenses. So that's the reason why I got this and not the ZV-1, because I know that I'm gonna to wanna to get into more camera stuff and upgrading and lenses and learn more stuff about the camera, that's why I got this. But if you're gonna vlog and that's it, and you don't care about nothing else, you just wanna make videos, ZV-1 makes sense, but if you're gonna grow into your camera, this thing makes sense. And this guy has like a little scroll wheel up top, which is cool. You have uh, mode buttons. So you have, what's that? You have camera, video, and then what's that? Slow and something, S and Q. S and Q is for something, I don't know. Um, on and off switch. Uh, you have a dedicated recording button, which is perfect for vloggers. You have this little focus button where when you turn this on, it'll blur your background automatically. That's actually pretty cool. You know, zoom toggle slash um, uh, capture button up top as well. And then your menu button, shortcut button. And then this is basic Sony. So you have uh, to view your, your your content, whatever you made, uh, your playback, delete, and then you have different settings, ISO, display, all those goodies as well. And then the, the lanyard loops, you have two of them, which is pretty cool. And then look, it shoots up to 4K, which is pretty cool. This also has, a, a, I think it shoots up to, it, take, it captures up to 24 megapixels. And then the ZV-1 is only up to 20 megapixels. So I really did want the 24 for low light. My GoPro is horrible in low light. Even the iPhone, the iPhone is not that bad in low light, but the iPhone is not good in low light. So I just wanted something where if I'm unboxing or I'm recording at night, it'd be a lot more clear, a lot more better. So that's another reason why I really wanted to upgrade for my recording on my cell phone or um, on the GoPro. Speaking of GoPro, here is my Hero 9. So this was my main vlogger for a minute. Now this guy is gonna be more of a um, action cam, driving cam, you know, like, I'm doing like more stuff that I wanna bring to camera, like more dangerous stuff, I'll say. More so I get dirty, wet, whatever. That's why I'm gonna bring this guy out, but this is gonna be my new daily vlogger. But yeah, you can see it next to each other. 
The camera is not, it's, it's, it's still small. It's still small and portable. The ZV-1 is a lot more portable than this because you don't have the big lens in the front, but I feel like this would be perfect. And so the lens come with like, like a little lens protector thingamajiggy. This is actually pretty cool. Protect your lens when you're not using it. There's just certain things you can't do with one hand. <laughs> like putting that thing back on there. We also have a built-in power zoom on here too. So you can pretty much, you know, and, and, we, and we're gonna mess with that. We're gonna mess with all this stuff, you know, as I kind of get used to this thing. Since we're on the side, so pretty much you have a, look like a USB-C port, a mic, what is that, like a micro USB port, headphone jack, and a microphone jack. So I think the ZV-1 has the same thing, it just doesn't have a headphone jack, which I may use the internal microphone for right now, and then if I want to upgrade the quality, I'll get a nice little Rode microphone or something like that up top, but that's actually pretty cool. And then with the USB-C, you can use this to stream too. It's cool that you could actually live stream on there because on my setup, I have a Logitech um, webcam, like an older one. I want to replace that thing, get something a little bit more clearer, a little bit more newer, uh, switch up the, the face thingy. But if I wanted to, I can use the ZV-E10 as a, as a webcam or whatever, front facing cam, whatever. You have the your mount for your tripods and then you got a slider to the right and that pops open. Your memory slot goes in there. Also got a vlogger's kit to go with this too. We'll probably unbox that in the next video. But yeah, your memory card goes in there. I'm gonna just put the battery in there. Cause I believe you're supposed to charge this thing up before you even start using it. This battery is a lot different than what I was thinking. I'm sure what battery I was thinking that this was. See, this is, this is Sony's old NP-BX1. I thought it was one of these. So I'm definitely gonna have to get more batteries because I know Sony batteries are not, they don't last that long. And I've heard that these batteries also don't last that long either, so. But I think the ZV-1 may use the same battery as this because they're pretty much the same thing. But um, let's put this guy in there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna charge this thing because this battery is dead as hell. So you pretty much grab that guy. And it doesn't come with one of the, I'm sure what my old camera has. So my old camera has these little thingies. It doesn't come with one of these, like the way you can have it in there, plug into the wall or you plug into the charger. So I'm gonna have to get this, get that. And with the vloggers kit that I got, it actually comes with a memory card too. So I don't have a memory card right now, but it's my vloggers kit. But like I said, you guys can see the next video. I'm gonna plug this thing, let it charge. And, and everything here. A quick little unboxing, you know, nothing crazy. Um, I'm excited to use this camera, learn it, and vlog with it, and give you guys an update to how, what it's like. From what I've seen, everyone loves this camera, so I really didn't see anyone have any issues. Besides those professional vloggers, there's a few things this camera doesn't have that they wish it had. And I know I didn't get into too much detail and specs and stuff like that too, because I'm not a big spec person, you know? I mean, I am, but I'm not really. So when I start using things, I kind of learn a little more then I kind of get into it. So um, if you have any questions, I'm gonna put a link to the camera below where I bought it from my Best Buy. Definitely stay tuned in the next video because I'm gonna put the vloggers kit on there and it's actually a super cool tripod. And then I will catch you guys in the next video.